the room full of friends, so thank you. I would like to thank Reinhardt University for being our premier sponsor of tonight's event. Thank you. I would like to thank the Tate House for the use of this beautiful facility and this mansion for our event tonight. And, and Mary Lizzie from No Pickets for capturing tonight's memories and photos for us. I would like to recognize a few elected officials that we have in the room, and I'm, I'm apologize in advance, but I think I have everyone. Chief Judge Brenda Weaver, <laughs> District Attorney Allison Sosby, <laughs> Chief Magistrate Judge Alan Wigington, <laughs> Judge David Lindsay. Judge Wooster. <laughs> Judge Wooster. <laughs> District 2 Commissioner Becky Denny. Commission Chair Rob Jones. State Representative Rick Jaspers. Pickens County Sheriff Donnie Craig. Council Member Dr. Sonny Proctor, City Council Member Ann Snavy, and City Council Member John Fast. I want to thank each and every one of you for coming and what you do to serve our community. At this time, I would like to recognize the Chamber staff, Michelle Kerger and Rachel Coleman. but that would be very misleading because they both do so much more than what the title would lead you to believe. So thank you both for your dedication and hard work. They make my job easier. And last but not least, I would like to recognize the Winter Ball Committee. These ladies, it takes a lot of planning to go into an event like tonight, and this group of ladies does that with such grace. They, they does that. They do that with such grace, and, and they do a phenomenal job. They have meetings, they go shopping. It's just unreal the time and effort these ladies put into this evening. Cheryl Messner, Chair. Angie Jones, Co-Chair. Thank you. And at this time, I would like to turn the program over to Tim Norton from Reinhardt University to make sponsor remarks. Thank you, Emily. It's really a pleasure for Reinhardt University to be tonight's premier sponsor of this wonderful ball. We feel like we're a part of the community just down the road, just a very few miles from the Pickens uh, County line in uh, northwest Cherokee County. Forty years ago this spring, two brothers born into a small community about 60 miles outside of major U.S. city and raised in a suburban town outside a prominent city in the southern U.S. were launched on very different tracks toward a lifelong love of learning and a prosperous future that their parents dream for them but couldn't have really believed might be possible. These boys father a fine, hard-working, upstanding citizen by his own admission barely graduated from high school. From the time he was 14 he had worked in a machine shop, delivered newspapers, and picked up odd jobs to make ends meet. The boy's mother, having grown up in a small mill town where pulp was turned into paper products for the St. James Paper Company, went right to work following high school and helped make possible a meager living for her family. These parents worked hard. They were the epitome of determination, love, devotion, faith, and perseverance. But they did not ever have their, the means to provide a college education for their sons and a sister. But back to the brothers for just a minute. One brother, having graduated from high school, 
three years earlier than the other, had immediately gone to work, in part to help the family make ends meet. With his contributions to his education, combined with scholarship monies provided by generous friends of the local university, he went on to graduate in about four years. The other brother, having unimaginable opportunities because of a recognized talent for baseball, landed a lucrative scholarship to play while pursuing his education. Without a strong scholarship program provided mostly by individuals who loved this university, this brother could not have attended college either. Truth be told, the parents of these brothers could have never dreamed of what the future would look like for these two following graduation four years later. The reality is this. Without the support from generous friends and alumni of their respective colleges, most of them, who would never know who they were supporting, neither could have gone to college. Today, we have at least four Reinhardt University students in the room. A couple of our nursing students who study right here on our Chattahoochee Technical College campus in partnership with Dr. Newcomb, who I saw and is somewhere, yes, sir. Dr. Newcomb, and uh, David, and so many others at Chat Tech, we wouldn't have been able to start our nursing program. Uh, so I want to ask Heather and Rachel to stand up in the back, our two nursing students, so you can see them. <laughs> These ladies will graduate in the first class of the Reinhardt University Bachelor of Science in Nursing program this December. And we're so proud of you. The brothers I spoke of a few minutes ago are myself and my older brother, Rick. Later this year, my brother will make his decision about retiring from a long career in the information technology, large data storage business. A career that has been lucrative and rewarding and one that has provided him an upper middle class salary which has made possible a very comfortable living outside of our nation's capital. As for me, I have been blessed way beyond measure with a career mostly focused on connecting people with financial resources, with causes that they love, believe in, and support. Mine has been a rich, rich life because of many of you in this room and lots of others elsewhere in the various communities where Dawn and I have lived, worked, and played for almost 35 years together. Tonight, we celebrate with you the citizens who make Pickens County great, and we thank you for allowing this stellar private institution of higher education, Reinhardt University, to support this event. At Reinhardt, faith, learning and leading are at the core of who we are. We are working hard every day to provide a unique experience where each student that comes our way is able to thrive. We believe in the power of community. We believe in the power of education. And we believe that you would not be supporting your local university, Reinhardt, in the way you have, especially over the last year as we've launched this nursing program and as we've started the Pickens Scholars Program that benefits students attending Reinhardt University. If you didn't believe in us, you wouldn't be supporting us that way. So on behalf of all of us, President Mallard, Dr. Mark Roberts, our Provost, Mrs. Julie Fleming, our Vice President for Enrollment Management, Dale Morrissey, Pickens County native, and our Senior Director of Constituent Engagement, and myself. I thank you for your financial support of Reinhardt that is making possible an education for people just like me and my brother, who would not, who could not, have gotten a college education without the generous, generosity of great, good people like you, our friends in Pickens County. So I thank you, once again, Amberly, for the privilege of sponsoring this program tonight, this wonderful ball, and for your support of Reinhardt University. Thank you so very much.
event first began, it served as our annual meeting. A couple of years ago, we changed that up just a little bit. As some of you may know, we now conduct our annual meeting and disseminate that information at our January breakfast. We wanted tonight to be a celebration, a celebration of our members, a celebration of our community, and recognize a few very deserving people. And on that note, tonight I have the honor of recognizing our Ambassador of the Year. Ambassador of the Year is voted on by the Board of Directors, the Ambassadors, and the Chamber staff. I will not tell you the number of years I have known this special lady, but I will tell you it's, it was since we were five years old and in a, the same kindergarten classroom. So I can tell you with some authority that the role of being an not only an ambassador, but the chair of the ambassador program was way out of her comfort zone. We all know those people who are quiet and behind the scenes people. Well, then, then there's my friend Michelle Logan. She takes that to a whole new level. <laughs> she has wonderful ideas, but not only does she not ask for the recognition, she doesn't want it. She's like, she, she does not want you to recognize her. And she's as dependable as the day is long. She's there, always making sure things get done. And some of us call her Mama Shell because she's always got her on everybody else making sure they do what they're supposed to do too. And if we don't, if you don't do it, she'll probably ground you. <laughs> so I had, she was ready. She was ready to take over the role of the ambassador chair. We had a retreat and then we changed the responsibilities on her. But she didn't miss a beat. She took on the program and she took on the task with vigor, grace, and made it look easy. So help me congratulate Michelle Logan, your 2019 Ambassador of the Now I'd like to welcome back to the podium, Melissa Jordan, your 2019 Chamber Board of Directors Chair. joking about Michelle. I kept thinking maybe we'd make her have a speech, but she probably would have already left if that was going to be possible. I want to start by saying that I am looking forward to serving as your board chair. I'm excited about our chamber with Amberly's leadership and our board of directors and the ambassadors. I really believe this is going to be a great year. At this time, I would like to ask our 2019 board of directors to please stand. Thank you. Now I would like to also ask our ambassadors to please stand. Without these people, the board and our ambassadors, along with the chamber staff, our chamber could not function. And we do appreciate all of their continued support and dedication. Real quick, this is kind of off subject, but I want to thank my supportive and understanding husband. <laughs> Anytime I have an event that I'm doing, whether it's for the bank or for the chamber, Michael Jordan is always right there with me helping me. So thank you very much for being my backbone. breakfast um, chair our past chair Dr. Sonny Proctor he passed the gavel to me and tonight I want to present him with a plaque Sonny will you please come up here Sonny I want to thank you for your hard work your dedication to our chamber and our community I look forward to continuing to work with you as our past chair keep it brief. I just want to thank everybody for the support 
over the last couple of years as we've kind of reorganized and redirected our chamber and uh, looking forward to great things coming from this group. I'm now here on behalf of Community Bank of Higgins County. I have the privilege to present the Business of the Year Award. Community Bank of Pickens County sponsors the Business of the Month program through the Pickens County Chamber. And at the monthly Chamber Breakfast, we have the honor of recognizing those businesses receiving the award. Your business can be nominated by someone, or you can nominate your business. After nominations are received, they are then voted on through the Ambassador Program. By receiving the Business of the Month award, those businesses are now eligible to win tonight's award as Business of the Year. At this time, I would like to recognize all the businesses that were recognized throughout 2018. So if you are here, please stand. r and Body Shop, Bojangles, Boys and Girls Club of North Georgia, Royston, MAB and Associates LLC, Ag Pro Companies Jasper, HVAC Consulting and Design, Carrington Coffee, Designs on Main, and Inspired to Design LOC. Congratulations to all of you. <laughs> and now on to the award. This business opened in 2006 and joined the chamber that same year. They are proud to be the recipient of the U.S. Chamber Small Business Blue Ribbon Award, which is given to the top 100 small businesses nationwide. They've been very active with the Chamber by sponsoring several events, including the Chamber Picnic, Business After Hours, the Snowball Golf Tournament, the Annual Auto Giveaway, and the Georgia Marble Festival. Their local community sponsorships include the Boys and Girls Club, Pickens First Foundation, ACES, Habitat for Humanity, the Kaylee Shea Memorial Run, CARES, Georgia Mountain Hospice, and that's just to name a few. Their school sponsorships include being a platinum sponsor for the PHS football team, and they also support the softball team, basketball team, baseball team, soccer, volleyball, and the Pride of Pigeon, Pride of Pickens Marching Band. Their team now consists of more than 40 employees, and they are proud to be locally owned and operated, providing service to their guests that they dearly love and they consider family. Their products are unique with fresh, never frozen chicken and buttermilk biscuits that are made from scratch. They offer a full service catering and marketing team ready to make your event stress-free and delicious. Join me to congratulate Jasper Bojangles for being the 2019 Business of the Year. Sorry, Scott and Crystal Beaver could not be here tonight. They had made a commitment to her mom that uh, they intended to keep, and, and we encourage that. We are about family, and our family does uh, come into play sometimes. They are they're with her mom tonight, and I can't wait to get to go back to the table and call her and tell her. She's going to be so excited. Probably hear her squeal over the phone. But thank you all very much for your support. We love. Higgins County and, and the uh, surrounding counties where we have uh, five other stores located, or soon to be five other stores. Appreciate your support and come by, share a, a bow biscuit with us, and we'll we'll talk about good times because that's what we, we find in Higgins County. It's a place for good times. Thank you. And now at this time, I would like to ask Alan Davenport with ETC to come up to give our Citizen of the Year sponsor remarks. Hey, this is a good looking crowd, I'm telling you. I, I, uh, how about the weather? I mean, it's rained all day. I thought this is going to be great, these ladies getting out in the dresses and the men in the suits and tuxes. But one writer said, if you want rainbows, 
uh, you've got to put up with the rain. So that's that's what we've done, and I'm excited. ETC is excited. Uh, we're we're grateful to be a, a part of this community. Uh, it's wonderful. This community works well together, all aspects, and it's a privilege to serve the community and be a partner of Pickens County Chamber. Uh, I'd like to say again, uh, on behalf of ETC, um, the chamber does a great job. Miss Amberly and her staff do a great job, and we're thankful how easy it is to work with them. Uh, ETC is, is grateful for the opportunity to sponsor such a great program as Citizen of the Year. Uh, it's a privilege to live in a community where there's so many great people that are so deserving. Um, and and we're, we're glad to be here tonight to do that. We, uh, uh, this, this Citizen of the Year program, the Chamber has uh, uh, took four members and put together a committee. And this committee revised and edited the uh, nomination letter and the nomination form. Um, they solicited nominations. They received those. Uh, they went over those nominations to make sure all the information is correct, went through each and every one of them. And then they, they, they went even further. They reached out to uh, all the counties in the uh, state of Georgia and found ones that had demographics as close as possible to that of Pickens County, uh, income, population, all those things, and reached out to the chambers of those counties and some professionals in those counties and sent those people the nominations for Citizen of the Year. Uh, those chamber members and professionals from those counties went through those nominations and through that whole process, one name rose to the very top. And at this time, I'd like to invite current board member Jody Weaver up to introduce to y'all the Pickens County 2019 Citizen of the Year. Good evening. My name is Jody Weaver, and I'm a member of the Pickens County Chamber of Commerce, as well as a sergeant with Pickens Sheriff's Office. I would like to first say thank you for the opportunity to play a small part in tonight's introduction of the 2019 Citizen of the Year. The man chosen tonight has been a resident of Pickens County for more than 30 years. During that time, he has forged relationships and earned the respect of countless fellow citizens. Though he possesses many attributes that have been key to his success in our community, it is his servant's heart that I believe earned him the honor of being selected as our 2019 Pickens County Citizen of the Year. Throughout his career in law enforcement, he has served the citizens of Pickens County with pride, devotion, and professionalism. On every marked unit in our agency, you will find the words, determined to make a difference. That was his idea. You see, those are neither mere words nor a motto. It is a mindset within our agency. Through his service as the chief law enforcement official for Pickens County, he has gone above and beyond in his service to its citizens. The Pickens Animal Shelter was opened in 2011 under his leadership. He implemented a firewood program for elderly individuals who rely on firewood to heat their homes. Inmate labor is used to operate not only this extremely beneficial program, but inmate labor is used in various projects throughout our county. In 2018, his partnership with the Georgia Public Safety Training Center brought a satellite training campus to Pickens County, which affords all Pickens, excuse me, Pickens County agencies, as well as agencies from across North Georgia, access to critical training in order to better serve our citizens. His partnership with the Board of Education has resulted in the addition of a school resource officer program, which provides mandated officer presence at all of our public schools. He has implemented the Pickens Sheriff's Office Citizens Academy, which allows residents of Pickens County the opportunity to experience firsthand the day-to-day -day operations of our agency. He has been instrumental in bringing active shooter training to our schools, our churches, and our local businesses, better preparing both our deputies and our citizens on how to properly respond to an active shooter situation. Through his philanthropic efforts, he and his foundation have made positive differences in the lives of families 
and especially children, not only in Pickens County, but throughout our state. Through his foundation, more than $500,000 has been distributed to support countless charitable causes and organizations such as the Georgia Sheriff's Youth Homes, ACES Youth Home, funding of the Pickens County Special Olympics, 4-H, the North Georgia, um, excuse me, the North Georgia Pregnancy Center, Prevent Child Abuse Pickens, the Joy House, Angels on Horseback, the Boys and Girls Club, the Christmas Shop with the Sheriff, and many others. Through G-Fest, he has helped put Pickens County on the map the first weekend of September for several years now, increasing tourism and awareness of our beautiful county, all the while bringing in hundreds of thousands of dollars in funds to help those in need. These qualities alone earn him the recognition that he deserves tonight. He's a champion of the voiceless and the weak and an advocate of the underdog. He has helped so many throughout our community, but I want to tell you how he has impacted my life. What I want to talk about on a much more personal level are the qualities that very few in this room know unless you have the privilege like I do to be part of his tribe, part of his extended family. It is not often that we are fortunate to be adopted into a family. A family absent of judgment or based on unconditional love. Very few folks in this world can not only look past your mistakes and shortcomings, but love you harder through them. The man I will be introducing tonight has changed my life in a way that no one else ever has. He has shown me unconditional friendship and love, and he has gone above the realm of tolerance and shown me acceptance. He is a man of authenticity, compassion, loyalty, and forgiveness. Every day that I have the privilege to work alongside him, I am challenged to be a better person a kinder, more thoughtful citizen. Because of him, I have reached goals and dreams that I never thought would be possible. For the past several years, when I was experiencing difficulties in my personal life, he was never far out of sight. He was the steady, outreached hand, the reliable face in the crowd, ready to defend and help me. He has celebrated my achievements. He has applauded my successes and offered sound brotherly advice. He has prayed with me and for me, and He has taken chances on me. He is truly my best friend. I always thought if I ever have the opportunity to stand before Him and thank Him publicly for the countless gifts that He has brought to my life, there are three that stand out among the countless others. So tonight I'm blessed with a rare opportunity, and I'm going to seize this moment. First, I would like to thank him and his very beautiful wife for reminding me that family isn't always sharing a last name, genetics, or DNA. Family is never giving up on one another and never throwing in the towel and loving one another harder through our mistakes and our failures. Secondly, I would like to thank him for giving me an opportunity to earn a position within the agency that he leads with both devotion and his heart. And lastly, I would like to thank him for letting me experience what it would have been like to be a dad if Chris and I had been able to have kids of our own. And to thank him for sharing his two greatest achievements with me, Tyler and Ashley, both of whom I have had in protective custody all day, <laughs> and who happen to be here with me tonight to join me in congratulating the very best man I have ever known, Sheriff Donnie Craig. Too often you'll find me speechless. Um, this is definitely one of those nights. It's uh, a 
truly amazed and humbled for tonight. You know, I found out that uh, I was actually nominated for this award. Over the last 10 years, I've been nominated or nominated, recognized for a lot of different things. This means more to me than anything I can think of. And it's because I've given my life to Pickens County and serving you guys. You know, I spent the last 24 years of my life serving this county and, and those of you that live here. And the only regret that I have is, is I've watched these two grow up. I've missed time with them. And I encourage you guys in this business community, and I know a lot of you are working really hard, doing what you've got to do. Elected officials are here tonight. Guys, don't give up your time with your kids. Because I look back and I see this guy and I see this beautiful lady here. I missed out on that. And that's the one regret that I've had. And I can't go back and make up. But I thank my wife and my family for uh, giving me the opportunities and supporting me over the years. And... Uh, Every time I had that crazy thought, uh, that crazy idea, they've been right there with me and supported me. These men and women in uniform here tonight, these are, these guys, this is my other family. And they've always been here to support me as well. No matter what crazy idea or crazy thought. You know, they touched on Jeep Fest a little bit. When we started that years ago, you know, Chris, uh, he, he liked to lost his mind when we started talking about bringing in all these Jeeps. And we went from having a one-day ride to a three-day event, and now it's four days. And But, you know, we were able to raise a lot of money for a lot of kids and a lot of events. Uh, and guys, we're just so thankful for what we've been able to do over the years. And, you know, it's not about me. I may be recognized tonight. But it's, it's truly not about me. It's about this community. And it's about what the cause has been for. And it's about the children in this community that need us to continue pulling together and working together and supporting them. Uh, you look at the, the people across this country that pours their hearts and their money into to this event. It just shows you what a great community we have here in Pickens County. And I know our cities are working hard, our counties are working hard to, to bring events and you guys are working hard to bring people into this county and looking at tourism. It shows you what we can do if we work together and, and we set aside our differences. Uh, we work together. Guys, we can do it. Um, there's nothing that we can do if we work together. And I promise you, as long as we continue the path that we're taking and we work together, there's nothing we can do. We just have to set aside our differences and work hard and continue coming together. Um, and again, I can't thank you enough for what, uh, you know, for this. This is, uh, this is great. And uh, Jody, I owe you one because uh, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Again, for these guys.